What is up guys? We are back with our Anaheim BAGM mode here and we're back now. Uh, it's been a little while. I, uh, up I uploaded one today and uh, I've just been so busy with Team of the Year and stuff. It's kind of been uh, pretty crazy. But anyways, let's get into the GM mode here. We lost in round number one against LA here. As you can see, we lost. Uh, we only won one game, so we lost in five games. Unfortunately, could not muster up any goal support whatsoever. Corey Perry was the only one who really produced at all. Uh, I put some players on the, on the trading block though the one that I uh, I put up actually I forgot to I will put up uh, let's put up who should we put up see Callahan dropped now Callahan's at 85 that sucks that is no good uh, that really really concerns me um, I hope Emerson Edom gets a big jump in the offseason if he gets to be like 81 82 he can be a, a solid second or a third liner because we had Silverberg playing up uh, he was at 80 for the majority of the year so there's no reason why like an 82 overall Emerson Edom could not play on the second line there but we got Getzlaff, we're still keeping him. I hope Gibson gets a big jump up next year. Hiller, uh, he's doing all right. Uh, I don't really think we should put him on the trade block. Let's we'll put, you know, let's put Lupul there just to entertain offers. We'll put, we'll keep him there because he didn't have the strongest of years. He's probably a better second liner, to be honest with you. But uh, we're gonna hop into the draft here. We do have two. Fr uh, actually, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. What we're gonna do is we're going to check the scouting report to see what players are going. Obviously, the first uh, two years, or sorry, the first year is really good for drafting. Uh, er uh, Ekblad, Reinhardt, all of these guys are all top five guys. Even like the second round picks are really, 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 really good. So goaltender wise, uh, Ty Edmonds, he's always he's, he's always up there. And all of these other other goalies turn out to be something good, but we don't really need a goalie because we do have John Gibson coming up in the minors. But let's hop into the draft here. The first draft with our franchise. I believe we have two first round picks, Ottawa's and ours. Yes, we do. So we have the 15th overall and the 19th. So we could definitely move up. Uh, let's try to go for Edmonton. We can get like a fourth or Edmonton's fifth or Buffalo's fourth. Let's try. Let's just try it here. Let's see if we can move up. Uh, no one's come out with, with any offers whatsoever. So how many phones do we have? I think we have like four or five uh, phones. So that's pretty, pretty good there. So the lines look like Perry gets laugh and. Um Silverberg, I'm really banking on him to jump up huge for next year. And then the second line is probably going to be Stastny, Callahan, and Edom. Uh, and then Smith Pelly uh, for the third line. It's looking like Smith Pelly. And we need to get a better third line center. So that's what we're going to try to try to do here. See what players are giving up. Uh, draft picks. Do they want to get rid of their ninth? We could give them the 19th. Anyone we want to give, anyone they want that I want to get rid of. See, I wouldn't mind getting rid of like Brian Allen but he's got two years left at three and a half that's not going to go through I know that uh, the reason I want to get rid of Brian Allen because he's making three and a half and we got Cody CC coming up who's already a, a 79 overall he's going to jump even more at the start of next year so uh, we could give you Winnick what's Winnick he's got one year left can't do that we give you uh, that's too much cap uh, yeah that's obviously not going to go through uh, we give you picks we do picks uh, I kind of want to move up but it really doesn't matter because uh, the only players I really want is Ekblad and he's really yeah, I know we're going to stay there. We're going to stay. Let's just go quickly through. Oh, Holy Okunin, no way. I should just get him and put him in the minors. Uh, Frederick Gautier, no. Eric Brewer, no. Uh, no one really else. Pouliot would be nice, but not going to happen. Shane Doan, we have two first-round picks, so that is nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Really, uh, and we have no reason to move up. Uh, there's really no players I have an eye on. I'm just kind of going to take the best player available. Uh, Tim Bozen, he'd be an all right prospect. Matty Cook. Jordan Wheel, I know, is all right. Brian Campbell, he's making t way too much. Fuck that contract. Seven and a half million. No way. Anthony Mantha would be so good. Oh, man, he is a... He is a he is a beast. Let's, uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I just have really nothing to give up. So I'm just going to kind of, yeah, I'm just going to take the best player available here and uh, whoever it is. So Aaron Eckblad went number one. Reinhardt went two. Uh, there's still some pretty good players available. So let's see here who is available still. Uh, let's go by here. We have Colton Bobyak, who I know gets pretty good, or Bobyak, whoever you want to pronounce his name. 
Uh, Colton Bobby had Joshua Ho saying, uh, I might take Bobby. He's a defenseman, and we pick four picks later, so we could easily get another one of these guys. Uh, he's looking pretty good, actually. Colton Bobyak. Is that right? Bobyak or Bobak? I don't know. I think it's going to be our pick. He's a good defenseman. Uh, we do need offense, though, but we do can pick uh, another. We can get William Nylander. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick uh, Bobiak now, and hopefully Nylander is available in three picks. Wesley, uh, there he is where you go. We can get William Nylander because I know William Nylander has really good potential, and I've had him in an off-season, or sorry, an off-camera GM where he got really good. He's like 89 overall, like 40 goals per year. So that is a solid pickup. We have two second-round picks here, so we're going to go ahead and use these. We have the 15th and the 19th, obviously, and uh, Keith, what's second round steals we can get uh, I know this guy I've seen all these guys in other GMs Connor Chattier 20 years old sniper three green star potential uh, there's all these guys who have no idea what their potentials are uh, Vladimir Takanov Takanov uh, 590 small he's a playmaker 18 years old Nikolai Erlias even if there's any goalies available because the second round goalies can be pretty good uh, although we don't really need one uh, it'd be kind of nice to pick up another prospect goalie for the farm team uh, as not really look like there's anyone. I don't want to take a chance on one of these guys who I haven't scouted. Didn't do a very good job scouting goalies because we kind of already have John Gibson, so there's really no reason for us to go get a goalie. Uh, let's take... Let's pick this guy. Nikolai Elliers. Uh, four stars. Sure. Why not? Nikolai Elliers. Uh, we'll pick one more player here, and then I'm going to simulate the rest of the draft. Uh, who's got good potential? Let's go by potential-wise, because that is uh, that's good to get all the way up here. Come on, stop lagging. Let's go. There you go. So this guy's name, I would have trouble pronouncing that. Let's go with Julius Honka. He's an offensive defenseman. Uh, Ryan McGinnis, 6'5". Oh, wow, he looks good. Fourth round pick, though, so we can get him after. Uh, let's go with Julius Honka here. He is uh, listed as... A third round player. He's an offensive defenseman, which I like. He's a fantastic Finn. Let's get him. There he is. Julius Honka. Welcome to Anaheim, buddy. Let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft here. No more offers. And let's get out of the draft. So, the resign stage. We're going to do that really quick. I don't think anyone's coming up this year. That's too big. Uh, that's too big. I think that Lupul's good for a little while. I think. I know that Getzlaff and Perry are good for a little while. Hiller might be a, a player that we need to uh, that we need to resign. So, let's check out our prospects here how they did do uh, we got Koivu are going to resign I you know he's 39 years old he can go to free agency we can find a better fourth line center in free agency Robida uh, I don't know it depends on how much Robida wants he wants 3.8 so it's not bad we'll offer him 3.5 for three years he'll be 40 years old uh, maybe not the best thing to hang on maybe not the best thing to do uh, race free agency we don't need you Nolan Yonkman um Steckle. Okay, so Ryan Callahan have to be re-signed. He wants five million for an 85 overall. He's not going to get any better. You know, I'll offer you 4.6 million for three years. That's a good price for a second line player there. I mean, he dropped a lot, so that really, really, really sucks. Uh, Stastny dropped as well. He's only at 85. He wants. I can give him five million. Five million is 85 overall. Listed as. A first liner. So, uh, Callahan, there you go. Winnick, uh, Perot. Perot, I'm going to re sign. Tender qualifying offer. Peterson, all these guys can get tender, tender qualifying offers. Silverberg here. Let's uh, try to get him long term. We can get him uh, eight years at 2.5. No, we'll give him eight years at 3 million. 3 million for eight years for Jakob Voracek. Set you up for life pretty much there. Uh, Matt Clark will give you Vadanin. I want to get locked up long term as well. Oh, 4.7 for eight years. I'll try five years at two and a half. No, that won't, well, that won't go through. Let's go five years at 2.7 million. I know he's going to be good, so why not lock him up now before I have to pay a shitload for him down the road? Jesse Blacker, a tender qualifying offer. Uh, Devonta smith Pelly will give you a contract. We're not going to lock you up long term. Uh, no, we'll lock you up for three years. I'll give you 1.1. There you go. Give you a little bit more than what you wanted. Uh, this guy, tender. William Nylander. There you go. Look at that. Four and a half gold star potential. William Nylander, 58 overall sniper. Glad to have him in the in the prospect pool. Julius Honka. There you go. Four and a half red star potential. Uh, 65 overall offensive defenseman. Very nice. Welcome to Anaheim, buddy. Actually, welcome to Norfolk. You're going to play there. Uh, Bob Yak. Okay, not bad. Four gold star potential uh tell me how to pronounce his name am i doing that right it doesn't sound right colton bobiak 
I feel like there should be an A in there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. But uh, get him signed there. Uh, Elliot is another guy for four uh, star rep potential. Not bad. He was the second round pick. And this guy uh, is going to be a not. Actually, it might be something. We'll negotiate contract for you. Colton uh, Hegelson. Hegelson. Great name. Uh, this guy, green star potential. I like the green star potential guys. Even though it's two and a half star, they can easily get jumped up. Holmberg will give you a contract as well. Usually, I like to uh, switch. I usually like to cut out the resign process, but whatever. It's kind of it's kind of fun uh, if you guys want to watch it. Bobkov has to get resigned. He's got green star potential, so that's nice. So he's only 23. He's a minor backup goalie. Uh, Gibson's going to be our, our uh, backup for next year. Depending on what happens with Gibson, if he jumps up, he'll be our backup for next year. But if he stays around 75 to like 78 overall, I'll, put, I'll chuck him in the minors for one more one more year. He's only he's only 20, so he's got lots of time. Yeah, Hiller is a unrestricted free agent this year. Five and a half. I'll give you five for four years. Uh, he's 86, not going to get any better. He's 32, so we 36 once the contract's up. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, he'll be like an 80 overall or something. Uh, Jake Patterson. Do we get him in the draft? Do we get him in the draft? Did we? We did. We did got Jake Patterson. I know he plays in London uh, in the OHL, so that's cool. Another prospect goalie to get. Uh, two and a half goal star potential. Or sorry, green star potential. Nice. So let's see. We still got to get rid of. We still got to maybe sign. Um, who do we have to resign? I might have went over my cap actually. We only had 22 million. I wasn't really watching that, but uh, we still have to resign Robida, and I think Hoivu was the other one. I might let him walk though. So let's see who's coming back and who decided they want to be an asshole and not accept my contract. I hope that Silverberg does sign. Okay, so Hiller's good. Silverberg's not. Uh, it's clear I want to stick with the team. Okay, so we'll just give Silverberg the one million or ever that he wanted. Stastny's back. Callahan's back. Vadanin doesn't want a long term. Smith Pelly's back. All these guys. Patterson, no room for you anymore. Oh boy. Okay, so I gotta do that. I gotta uh, get all the rookies done. Uh, William Milan. Okay, so I gotta go ahead. We have ten million dollars left, and we still gotta sign a rookie. I mean, he's eighty-four, so he is old. We can give him a one year. He's probably gonna want like five or six million, though. Uh, what I have to do to get those rookies is I have to go ahead and release all the players to free agency, like uh, David Steckel. We can list free agency. Uh, who else? Benoit, you can go to free agency. Uh, who else here? Winnick. Uh, Winnick was pretty good, actually. He's good on the fourth line. He's still relatively young. 1.6. I'll give you 1.5 for 3 million, just because I'm a hard ass, or uh, for three years, and uh, you'll be a good fourth liner for us for the future. Storatini, you can get out of there, you ugly bastard. Uh, we got to sign. We gotta sign Jakob Silverberg here. He wants 1.3 for two years. That's fine. I'll give you 1.2 for two years because you rejected my other contract. Um, and Vadanin, we gotta sign as well. I think he wants 1.3 or something. Yeah, 1.4. So that's not bad. I'll give you your 1.4 for two years. Hopefully, he gets to jump up next year. And I gotta sign all those rookies again. Uh, I just gotta go ahead and release all these other guys for free agency. Koivu can be gone. And there you go. So this video might be a little bit longer. I know it's a little bit longer, but. Uh, that's all right. Okay, so we got Julius Honka. We got to resign. I like his name, Julius Honka. Hopefully, he can be a good prospect defenseman for us for the future. I already signed Honka. Holmberg got to resign. He's got decent potential. Twenty-one years old, two and a half stars. Not bad. Might be a good guy to have in the minors. Sorensen will give you a contract. And I think Bobkov was the other one on the. Uh, he's the goalie. Nylander's already are already signed. Steven Lorienz. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to get that goalie sign, and then we can see what's going on in free agents. Oh, no, he was right. Hiller was right. Okay, so there's no other ones I got to, I got, uh, to re-sign them. Nice. So we're going to get Silverberg here. Uh, Winnick, there you go. Silverberg's back. Vadanin's back. Lorian's back. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have nine million dollars to go into free agency. I think that's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to get. Uh, I'm not gonna resign. What's his face there? Um, what's his ass? What's his freaking name? I forget his name. <laughs> okay, Peterson, Blacker, and these guys are, are back. Robida. I'm not gonna resign Robida because we can get Ian White. Ian White's a lot younger. I think he's 29, and he's the exact same overall. So we're gonna see what's going on in free agency here. We need a third line center and a fourth line sniper. Or sorry, a fourth liner. Uh, let's go ahead and get Ian White. He's the better or, or Matt Niskanen. 
Niskanen's younger. I like Niskanen, actually. He's younger. He's 27. Yeah, let's get Niskanen. He wants, a, wants like 1 million more, but I'll give him 5 million, and we'll see if he comes to Anaheim. Hopefully he does, because uh, if he doesn't, actually, oh, fuck, I probably should give him a little bit more. That's fine. Then we need a third-line center here, uh, Marcel Gok. He's got good face-offs. Uh, minus 20 last year. I didn't think he played. He had great discipline, though. It's a good fourth line guy to have. I like someone better on the third line. May Ray, baby. There he is. Mason Raymond wants 2 million. I have no problem giving you that, May Ray. There you go. Welcome to Anaheim. Uh, I'll give you 2.5 just so you come to the team. There you go. May Ray. Perfect. Okay, we got May Ray. I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead. Derek Brassard's up there, too. He's only 80 overall. Wow, he dropped down a lot. What does he want? Like, two? Yeah, only 80 overall for Derek Brassard. Wow. Uh, we're going to give this guy a contract. We've got pretty good potential. Sure. Uh, Suster, I know he gets pretty good. He's 77 overall already. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he's... Uh, He's a restricted free agent. We can go ahead and do that, and uh, I know it's they won't off they won't get any picks because there's uh, under the cap amount. So Perot uh, was a guy who he got rid of. I might get Perot back actually. Yeah, I'll get Perot back. He was pretty good. He lost two million. No, thank you. I can get uh, Brassard for two, and he's a much better player in my up up opinion. So we're gonna see if we get Niskanen or any of those guys. Oh, come on, taking your sweet ass time to come to the team. Oh, this guy's gone. So we didn't get him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God, Niskanen. Really? Come on, buddy. Mason Raymond's on the team, and Suster's gone. Fuck, man. We lost out on Mason Raymond. Now we... Or, we lost it on the other guy. Now... Yeah, now that defenseman's gone. Fuck, we're gonna have to trade for one now. God damn. That is just disappointing. That sucks. That sucks. What an asshole you are. Who? Where did he go to? Where did he go to? Niskanen signed that. You want to go to the Islanders? Ugh, you suck. Okay, so let's check out the uh, our team. So our team on paper is going to look like this. We're going to have, obviously, Perry, Getzlaff, and Lupul, and then the second line is going to be Callahan, Stastny, and hopefully, hope, or we can put Mason Raymond there, or we can put Silverberg there, and then have Mason Raymond, uh, Perot's an RFA, so he hasn't signed with us yet, so Perot, um, yeah, Perot, Edom, and Smith Pelly is a good third line, then we need that fourth line center still, yeah, okay, let's go get a fourth line center still, we need that defenseman though, I'll probably have to trade for one, uh, actually, we got Cody CC coming up, Vadanen coming up as well, so it may not be too bad, oh, let's get Derek Broussard, he's a third line center, Center. Let's do that. Two million dollars. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, come to the team, Brassard. Uh, and that's I think is going to be it. That sucks. We lost it on those defensemen. We're going to have to check to see what other defensemen are available. Um, we got a lot done in this in this uh, episode. We got the draft done, free agency. Oh come on! Oh my roster is freaking full. Are you serious? Oh, nothing's going right right now. Uh, contracts. I gotta let somebody go to free agency or something, or buy a player out. Um, Perot is the only one that's holding up. Is there any players that aren't going to be on our team? Kurtz. Yeah, let's get rid of Kurtz. I can't even buy him out. I can't buy him out. Never, never mind. I think we're screwed. Then I gotta trade players in order to get him. So we're gonna do that in this video. It's been like a 25 half an hour uh, GM. Hope you guys don't mind that. But let's go ahead and trade a couple random players for Derek Broussard. Pretty much to get Derek Broussard. We'll just get picks for these guys. So let's give Blacker. No, Blacker is good to have in the minors. We'll give you Fistrick uh, to get rid of some cap. We'll give you Fistrick and. Uh, and re Matt Clark, there you go. You guys both won. Can I get a second for that? Nice, perfect, awesome. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so that was a good trade. Um, Fistrick and Matt Clark for a second round pick. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and get Derek Brassard now for the third line center position. I like that. It's not Perot. Uh, maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll not. Maybe he'll just get. Uh, Maybe he'll get an offer sheet and we'll get a couple draft picks for him. So we'll give you $2.4 million for Derek Broussard. He's uh, dropped down to an 80, but he's still relatively young. He's only 26, so he's got one year to grow still. Uh, I'm really, really banking on those players getting 
better. So, okay, Derek Broussard is on, on the team. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the end of the year, and I'm going to see the progress report, see if Cody CC and Vatanen are ready to play on the NHL team. I really, really hope they are. Uh, I'm just going to go all the way to October 1st here, and hopefully we don't have to make a trade for a defenseman because we didn't get Robidaw, which is fine because he is old. I think he went to Tampa Bay or something, but we did lose out on Niskanen, which fucking sucked because Niskanen would have been so good. Uh, I probably offered him a little bit less money. I probably should offer him like 5.3 or 5.4 million. Uh, maybe he would have came to the, to the team, but pretty successful draft. I'm definitely going to go. Um, we get. Deo Weiss for the fourth line. There he is on the top free agency. He's number three, 77 overall. If he's still available, I may go after Deo Weiss. Uh, Perot, uh, he wants two million, so maybe I will go offer him his freaking contract for the fourth line. Um, you know what? Two million for a, a fourth liner. Do you really need to pay that? What does he want? He wants two million. Is that right? 1.9. You know, I'll give you 1.5, and if you say no to that, I'll just go get a random from uh, free agency. So you're playing hardball. I mean, you're playing on the fourth line, but come on, you don't need two million. You're not that great, Perot. Uh, let's see if he comes to the team for 1.5. Come on, Perot. Let's go, buddy. My brother calls him Peanut. I don't know why. Reject my offer. Ah, come on. I mean, I guess it's only 1 million. I'll give you your 1.9, whatever you want. No, I want to give you one of 1.8. There you go. You'll come to the team now. I know you will. Come back to Anaheim, Perot. There you go. So now we'll see what players got better, what players got worse. I'm really hoping for CC, Vadanen, and a couple other players. There you go. Perot's back. Uh, CC, Vadanen, uh, Silverberg, and I think that's oh, oh, and uh, Emerson Edom and John Gibson. So we got a lot of stuff to check out here. Uh, thank God, though, we finally got Perot. That's, that settles out our fourth line. And um, banking on those players coming up to be pretty good players. Okay, okay, the offseason is over. You're starting your you're starting your second year as the, at the helm of the, of the Anaheim Ducks. I'm looking for 36 wins this year. So I hope you. Uh, I hope so. I hope the choices you made in the offseason can pay dividends. Get out there and win. I will try my best, sir. Who's the owner? Is he Doug Murray? Is the is he the owner of the Ducks? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so let's go check out. Uh, who got better? Who got worse? Well, this is the big thing. Progress reports. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not really what I was hoping for. Uh, when it went down, really? What the hell? Lupul? Uh, I guess I am not. A there we go. AHL. Really? CC's an 82. Okay, so CC can play in the NHL this year. Let's just go to the the lines. I was hoping for bigger stuff there. I didn't see what Silverberg got up to, but Silverberg's only at 81. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, the lines looking like Lupul, Perry, and Getzlaff. I like it. Silverberg, Stastny, Callahan. I like it. Uh, Perot's an 82, and Broussard's an 80. So let's see who's better face-offs. 80. Broussard might have been a bad player to get. Um... Uh, Rashad was really good before he got like really juiced down. Perot's at 82. Who's got better? F He's got pretty good face off. So I'm going to put Broussard on the fourth line. That's probably not what I wanted to do though. Bileski got good. He's at 83 now. Nice. What a boy, Bileski. Good stuff. So Smith Pelly on the fourth line. I like it. Winnick there. Broussard. Uh, how old is Smith Pelly? He's 22. So he's definitely NHL ready for sure. We're going to put him on the fourth line. Uh, yeah, not really ideal, but, uh, I didn't think that Prasad would be so low. Uh, and Silverberg's only at 81 now, and these are 285. They both went down like crazy. Defensively, Fowler's at 84, Mott is at 82, Allen's at 81. We're gonna put you there. Uh, where, Ben Lovejoy, you're going down, buddy. You're going down, down, down to the minors. Uh, Brian Allen actually can go down to the minors. Hopefully he gets claimed on waivers, and he did not. Uh, Emerson Edom is still going to have one more year in the minors. He's 22, so this is his year to make it or break it. Lindholm as well. Uh, he's 20, so next year is going to be his big jump year, I hope. Um, and there you go. So CC, I'm going to put Spiza there. Yeah, we're pretty good defensively, actually. Uh, CC's a two-way defenseman. He's 20 years old. Look at that potential. Oh, my God. He had a great year last year in the minors. Uh, Spiza here is 82, 24 years old. He should probably be playing where Mata is, but I really want Oli Mata to grow. 
Uh, you guys are saying that only Monarch doesn't get that great, but we will see. We will we will have to see here. I'll put Spiza on the power play because uh, he's got a pretty good shot, if I remember right. Only yeah, he's got an 86 slap shot, so it's not bad. Mata Vadanin. We'll put CC where Vadanin is and Fowler there. Callahan, Stastny, Raymond. I like that. And we need to put some. We need to put. We're gonna pick Callahan off the power play and put him on the penalty kill. We're gonna put uh, Silverberg on the power play with Stasty and Raymond, and then Perry gets off and Lupul. Let's give Silverberg first line minutes, put Lupul on the second line, and then we'll put him on the penalty kill. Actually, we'll put take Lupul off there and put Callahan there, so he gets a little bit of time on the on the power play at least, and uh, Vadanin gets power play time there as well. Uh, Callahan, Perry, gets laugh, killing power plays. We'll switched up a little bit. Looking good. Three-man penalty kill. Looking good. Okay, so we are ready to go into the regular season here. If you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Oh, actually, we've got to see what um, John Gibson went up to. John Gibson is a 77 overall. So I said if he was like that, he would stay in the minors for one more year. So he is going to be the starter in the minors along with uh, Bobkov backing him up there. I think that's right. Bob Cobb's going to back him up. There we go. Uh, rookie skaters looking like that. Uh, and uh, other guys are in the minors like uh, Carlson and one. He's a, he he actually went up a little bit. William Carlson is now a 63 overall. Oh, that's no, not William Carlson. Who, who am I talking about? That was um, not Carlson. It was Nylander. Not Nylander. Bob Yak's still a 50 overall. Uh, those guys don't even show up because they're still in the, uh, in the system coming up here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the moves that I did make. If you did, let me know. If I did anything wrong, let me know. Uh, I'm pretty happy with everything, though. I think we're going to be just fine. I would like to beast. I wish that Callahan didn't go down. He would be much better as an 87 overall. But still, uh, I think 285s on the second line is not going to hurt us. And Perot and Broussard there. So let me know, guys. And I will see you in the next episode when we go into year number two thanks for watching have a good one